Hey guys, so this video is going to be about how to get all the shortcuts unlocked in Cathedral Ward. So before you can do this, you're going to have to have beaten the Cleric Beast in order to get the Sword Hunter badge. And you'll also need 10,000 Blood Echoes to buy this item that I'm about to get. So you go here. And you go to Key Items and get that Hunter Chief Emblem for 10,000 Blood Echoes. And then we're going to head to the Cathedral Ward. Now this shortcut's a bit hard to get. Yeah, this shortcut's a bit hard to get because you're going to have to beat down a lot of the monsters in order to get there. You can't just rush through it. You can rush through some of it, but there's a certain section where you have to kill everything. Otherwise, you might end up getting killed. So, you're going to head past these guys. Watch out for that giant there. Turn right up these stairs. And then with those 10,000 blood echoes and that thing that you bought earlier, that's going to open this gate here. Okay, so the first shortcut we're going to unlock, it's going to be on the other side of this area here. So remember that for later. Okay, so this area, I suggest you try and kill everything properly. Don't rush through it, otherwise you might get killed. Okay, I want to be rushing through so don't do what I'm doing. Uh, go through it carefully and get all the items. I'm just rushing through. I hope I don't die. Okay, so you're gonna head down here. And then all the way down here, you gotta turn right. Um, there's a guy hiding behind somewhere here. This, there he is. So be careful of that. And then there's gonna be a huntsman and there's gonna be a rifleman as well. Up ahead. Just gotta be pretty careful here. Let's see? Oh, right, ambushes you. And there's a rifleman right behind him, so you can take him far away out of range and then do it And there's another. Right here. So you gotta be pretty careful here. And deal with the rifleman as well. There's another one. So you take him out and then head up here. But you gotta go pretty carefully. There's a few guys up here as well. So he's not alone. So yeah, be careful. Just take it slow. See, there's these guys here that come. So I'll probably deal with these guys here first. See that if you try to rush this and try to run up here, they'll probably end up ambushing you. There's like five of them, so yeah, it's quite a lot. Yeah, but that's pretty much the most difficult bit. The rest of it you can probably run through. Um, yeah, so up the starter here. So yeah, if you wanted to miss all those guys, you could have run past them and run up the starter, but chances are they could have just ganged up, ganged up on you and killed you. So yeah, all right up there. And then you're gonna basically drop down onto the rooftop here. I'm rushing through so I'm not getting all the items. Um, and then that's the gate that I was talking about before. That's the gate that's on the other side of the area where the big guys are. So, see? So, so you can open this gate now. This dog. By using this lever. So that's the second shortcut. Okay, so that's before we were on the other side of this area. Over there. Okay, so the next shortcut's really important. This is a shortcut that will take you to Vicar Amelia. Uh, this shortcut you can run straight to. You don't have to worry about killing these guys here. Uh, so down here. And then past this guy here. So be careful here as well. Yep. Yep, and that's the next shortcut. So I'll kill this guy quickly. Yeah, there's two of them here, so let's be careful. Uh, 
Actually, I'm just gonna open it. So open it. Run to open it as quick as you can, and that's all the shortcuts you have. So even if you die, you don't have to worry too much. Okay, so run past this guy. All the way down here and past that cart. So now we're back at the start. Okay, that's Ollie and the crow there. Um, anyways, so run past here. And now you're going to be back at your lamp in your safe haven. Okay, so from here, I'll quickly show you Amelia. So basically, once you've open, opened all these shortcuts, you can pretty much beat the boss and progress if you want. But I recommend exploring the area further and getting everything that you can. So, so to go to Vic Amelia, you go through that door there. And you pretty much head up all these stairs. Up here. Past this guy here. Turn right at the end. And basically, it's just going to be past all these guys here. All the way up to the double doors. And Vicar Melia is just in there. Okay, you can watch my other video on how to beat Vicar Melia. If you found this video useful, please hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.